What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.V. Now check it out, I know you just seen that thumbnail, you didn't read that title, so you're already knowing. I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen, this is just a tater top breakfast casserole. Super easy, let's get it. Okay, so look, before we go over these ingredients, I want you guys to think, you know, about this. Listen, as long as you got tater tots and you got eggs, you can walk right over to your refrigerator. You can look inside of here, you can get all of your, whatever you have left over, like any leftover meats or something like that. You can take it out of there. You can come back, throw it all together and you can make a casserole. Look, I feel like I'm rambling. I'm not gonna over talk it. Let's get over these ingredients. Let me just show you guys just how easy it is to make. Again, that's just a breakfast casserole okay so look we're gonna start with the eggs look you got to get yourself some eggs so what we got here got four eight we got eight eggs these are large eggs right and then i'm gonna go ahead and show the star look these are just some frozen extra crispy tater tots now it says extra crispy you guys can use whatever you have it doesn't make a difference you know just having to see these and i just said this will make you know make for some good ones right we got salt this is just uh kosher salt pepper now, I'll come back here, look, this is milk. We gotta have milk, then we got onion and garlic powder. That's these right here. And look, standing over the top of that, I'm trying to figure out which one is which, but don't forget, look down in the description box below and the full ingredient list will be down in there. Both of these are same and equal parts. Now, we got mozzarella, cheddar cheese, and then here, you know what that is right there. You know I'm an onion guy, right? Hey, those are just some fresh, you know, diced green, uh, red onions. Now, let's talk about the meat. I didn't have anything to put in there, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with my Italian sausage right here. This right here I like, and notice what it says right there, mild. Hey, for you guys that like that heat, go ahead and do your thing. And you know what, when you're doing a casserole, it's completely, it's completely uh, customizable, right? Meaning, check this out. You guys can put jalapeno in it. It doesn't make a difference. Like I said, you can go in your refrigerator and do whatever you would like. So, you seen the ingredients, there's not a whole lot to it. Let's go ahead and let's cook. Okay, so look, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. 350, hit start. That's going. Turn my light on. Got that. Now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray my 13 by 9 dish, right? Put this over here. Hey, let me just show this part right here. Look at this, y'all. You see that right there? Look at the top right here. You see where it says Stater Brothers? That's for all you guys that live out here in this IE. All right, anyway, look, we just spray this. And we done. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is let's get some heat in our pan. All right, so my pan is hot. Go ahead and remove this little paper on the bottom. Okay, so look, we about halfway done, right? I still see a little pink. What I'm doing now is I'm just like breaking it up. I really didn't wanna form no crust because we are gonna put it in that oven, right? But now I'm gonna take my onions. Remember, we halfway, I'm gonna take my onion and then I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding my onions now. I told you guys, it's up to you. I don't wanna give no measurement on no onions because it's really up to you how you like your onions. You know what I mean? How much onion you wanna put in there. For me, I was a little conservative even on this and that was like about one cup. So I'm gonna keep on taking my square edge. You see that right there? I'm gonna keep taking my square edge wooden spoon and continuing to break this up and I'm gonna let this start to cook. Now don't forget the onions gonna cook too when they put them in the oven. You know, it's gonna be in that egg mixture. Now, I just wish that I had some bell peppers or something like that, you know? But anyway, we're just gonna do this. Let the, let the onion flavor infuse in here with these, with these, uh, with this sausage. We're gonna continue to cook it till all of the pink is gone and I got it broke up to the bite sizes that I like. You can make it more like ground or you can leave some of it big like this. Okay, so what you wanna do is, listen, if it render down a lot of fat, what you wanna do is you wanna take this and you wanna strain your fat, right? Which I've already done. So now we're gonna take this, let me move my hand back. Hey, so listen, you see I'm not using nothing. When you got a little bit of a better pan, you know the handle don't get as hot, but the closer you get to it, obviously it does. So I'm gonna put my hand back here. 
Now, I'm gonna take this. We're just gonna go ahead and put our sausage in here. And all I can keep saying is, I sure wish I had some bell peppers. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below. After you make this, are you guys gonna use bell peppers? Hey, you can use everything. You can actually use the Holy Trinity however you want to. That'll come out fire too. Now, we got that there. Now, I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna set this back over here. And now what we're getting ready to do is, uh, you know what, let's do it this way. This, now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Once we get this open, I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it now. You know what, it's nice and hot. We'll just add these, right? And look, I know they're frozen. And with this heat right here, gonna defrost them a little bit. But you know what I wanted to do? As they defrost, I want the, the sausage. Listen to this, folks. I want that to marinate on these uh, on these tots, right? So we'll just leave it like this. We're not trying to overthink it, but that right there, that's cool. We'll just leave it just like that, right? I'm gonna set that off to the side. I'm gonna add my cheese in just a minute, cause look, it's still, you can see the steam. I don't want it to go ahead and just melt completely on there as of right now, right? So I add my cheese in just one second. Now I'm gonna take my eggs. Let's get these out. All right, so what you wanna do is, you just wanna crack all your eggs. Okay, now that we got all our eggs cracked, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take my milk. Okay, so we got our milk in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take myself a couple of generous pinches of salt. I don't wanna say a few, but it's gonna take at least three. You know what I mean? Got that. You know me, gotta have my fresh ground pepper. That's good for starters. Now we're gonna go ahead and add both our onion and garlic powder. Right, get our whisk and you give it a whisk. Okay, so this is ready. We'll move this here, bring this back into play. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab our cheeses, right? So I'm gonna take a little cheese like this, a little bit of this cheese, all right? And I'm just gonna give it a, just a little mix. We just wanna get it everywhere. That way, that's up to you. I know you cheese lovers out there are gonna have this mixed everywhere. You're probably gonna double, maybe even triple, you know, the cheese. But for me, I just like it like this. I just suggest you guys try it like that. I love cheese just like the next man or, or woman. You know, with this right here, this is the only way you're gonna ensure that it gets everywhere. And you don't want to overpower it with cheese. You know what I mean? You still want to taste, you know, the sausage, the onion, the egg, the whole shebang. All right, so this is mixed. We'll bring our, our Pyrex. Remember, this is the 13 by nine, right? So I'm gonna take this, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add these, these tots and everything else. If you wanna know why I'm being careful, cause you gotta remember, I'm the one that cleaned the kitchen. You know what I mean? I make a mess here, nobody coming behind me. So, we just add it. Look at the amount. This was perfect. Now, I always talk about having the right tool for the job. How come I didn't get myself one of my, my rubber spatulas? Super easy, folks. I'm gonna give it a little re-whisk. Just in case something tried to separate. And now all we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour it over here just like you see, so I can get in every nook and cranny. Now look, all that talking about, you know, the cheese and the cheese lovers and all of that, I tell you, I'm a cheese lover. So look, I just went in and got myself a little handful of the mozzarella, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on top, just like you see here, just a little bit, just to tie it all in. Our oven is already preheated. Now it's time for us to go ahead and put this in there. We're gonna put this in there uncovered you know, for one hour. Let's get it. All right, check this out right here. If that ain't fire, I don't know what is. Now look, we gonna let this cool. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle. You know what, I went ahead and chopped up some of this parsley. You know what I mean? We gonna put that over the top, but look at that right there, folks. Now it's up to you. If you got a little bit more cheese on the top, you know, a little bit more extra cheese and you wanna add some cheese, now's the time to do it, cause it's piping. But I'm gonna just do this, just to give it just a little bit more, you know, to help me out with that thumbnail. But outside of this, look at that. Tell me down in the comment section below if your mouth is watering. If it's not, something is wrong, folks. But that I present to you guys. Look, that's a breakfast. Look, we're gonna call it this a breakfast sausage casserole.
All right, so look, you seen it. My mouth is watering. I can't wait to get down. And check this out, folks. I got that grown-up drink right here. Got that mimosa. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and just cut this. I don't need no whole big old piece. You know what I mean? We just want to make sure we got a piece that's big enough for us to get out of here with this spatula. Go ahead and take it like this. And I want you to take a look at that right there. Ooh, wee. If that don't say good, I don't know what does, folks. Put that on there like that. And I want you guys to let me know what down in the comment section below. Look at that steam, look at that cheese, look at that sausage, and let me know when you're gonna get down and make yourself one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh man, this is cooked just right. And that's 60 minutes. It depends on where you live and how your stove works. Some of you guys might have to go to 70. But for me, I like mine a little bit on the soft side. Look at this right here, y'all. Hey, enough talking. Let's get it. Ooh. Woo. Hold on, y'all. Hey, fire, hands down. You talking about an easy meal, something to put together? Looking at about 15 minutes, this should be in your oven. I'm gonna say it like this, just about the time that it takes for your oven to preheat to 350 degrees, this should be already in your uh, 13 by nine and ready to go in. And with that being said, super easy, super simple, and huge on the, you know, on the flavor. Don't forget, you can go in there and throw some of your leftovers in here also, and just make it however you wanna make it. Now you see that I got this right here, right? This right here telling you, hey, this is my brunch for the day. Hey, we set up right here. Hey, let me just say this also, Alicia Norris, this video goes out to you. Hey, Pam, good looking. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take your time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, right? So you can be notified every time I drop one of these fire recipes just like this. And with that being said, I'm finna like cut me another piece. I'm finna put my little Danish on the side of that also. And uh, oh, and let me know down in the comment section below how many of y'all like a little dab of that uh, ketchup on there. Hey, with that being said, I'm about to eat and I'm out of here. Peace.